Welcome back to the 2023 Iditarod Sled Dog Race. In this video, we'll look at a little bit more of our pre-race tailgating activities. We'll take a look at the rest of the race from racer 18 on. We have a bizarre little giveaway going on, so feel free to participate in that. And then we'll pack up camp, hit the trail, and head back to the truck. I made this a bit ago, and I've said this in a couple videos. I was challenged by another YouTube person to make a sweet treat around Christmas time. So I made this around Christmas time, but I've been saving it until now. And so this is called Mud Pie. Put that in the fail clip there. And so this has ice cream. Well, I'll show you quickly how I made it. So we call this Mud Pie at our house. But this is Oreo cookies, just the cookies themselves crushed with a stick of butter. Okay, the first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about a half an inch of ice cream in here. And I've tried to let this get a little bit softer so that I can smear it around here in a second. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna put stuff on top of it here. Okay, next I'm gonna take, this is hot fudge, and I've warmed it up some. It's not smoking hot, but it's warmed up a little bit. I'm going to paint some of that on here. I'm going to put it back in the freezer and freeze it again. Okay, since I put the hot fudge in there, I put some marshmallows in there and put it in the freezer and so they're all frozen. That way the ice cream, the next layer of ice cream, will kind of squish around them and they'll stay put and not get moved around. So now I'm going to put a layer of butterscotch topping on here. Now, before I put it back in the freezer, I'm going to put some little miniature chocolate chips. And they'll end up freezing in that. I'll pat them down in a second here. And it'll give it a little crunch and a little bit of flavor. So it's been back in the freezer and frozen up pretty good there. I'll get this squished around and then we got one last step to do. Ice cream all smoothed out and this is the final step. And then go back in the freezer to freeze. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I made a bigger plate of it, but. And so it's two o'clock right now. So the race just started in Willow. They should have released the first racer moments ago. We're is seven miles down the trail and so it'll take a few minutes for them to get here so this dessert will be postponed if we see a racer coming yep I and mean, you have a better view from your side than i do i am watching don't worry he's on wheels i'm not sure how many wheel ones you see flying around in the winter usually it's wheel skis usually you see skis yeah it's kind of weird well, I mean, or wheel skis, because then you can land your wheels, but... Yeah. You're kind of limited with the... Done. There's something wonky happens, and you got to put it down. Well, you still can. Skis on. Yeah, I mean, you still can, but it's... Oh. It's ideal to have skis. Mercy. <laughs> you put it down in this powder here. Uh -huh. I was just out helping those guys in this, with the side-by-side the -side with the tracks on it, and they were stuck down probably two feet. If you had wheels, you'd just sink. Mm. I mean, you could make a run and, and kind of glide in and lay it in, lay it in, lay it in, but if you're in an emergency landing, you don't get to do that. Even if you did that, it would be ugly. You could maybe do something like this because he's got tundra tires on, but you'd bounce, it would probably be bad. I don't yeah, know. if you get know. lined out on the Iditarod Trail, I'm not you could probably land right on the trail. Yeah, Good lucky.
but it is cold. And yesterday we were at the ceremonial start. So if you haven't seen that video, we videotaped the ceremonial start yesterday. And I think it was pretty cool. It was yeah. a fun time. Yeah, and we nice got a day. Couple, couple different spots we went to. Yeah, yeah. Um, which was kind of fun. Yeah, I thought it was a really nice day. And obviously the mushers are always really nice. Oh, yeah. The mushers are great. And we talked about one. Score. Yeah. Score.
Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was super cool. Next year, I think that I want to. I mean, it's fun to see the circus. Yeah, I kind of like. But the um, next year, I think I'd like to go further down where there's no circus, and it's such a glorious day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Well, so pretty much what we got left is pack everything up, put it in a sled, tie the sled down, make a trip back. On the way back, we'll we'll videotape some of the trail going. Back. So a dog dropped this dog booty right directly in front of us today. Yeah. I want to mail this off to somebody. So we will also look in the video and see if we can see what dog dropped that and who the musher was. That would be interesting. I mean, we videotaped most of the dogs, but some of them were just going away shots and some, but some of them were coming on. So if it was a coming on dog that dropped that, we might actually be able to see which and, dog dropped it. And you know what? What if, yeah, well, hopefully we'll be able to see who dropped it. Cause what if that is off the first place team? Oh, that'd be awesome. So, so if you can figure out which musher's dog dropped this booty in the comment section just tell me the bib number or the name bonus for the name yeah. the bib number of the musher's dog who dropped this and i will mail it to you i don't want to keep it all right okay so tell me who did that who dropped it and i'll send it to you and if you've made it this far in the video thank you for watching oh, yes. we do appreciate that like and subscribe doesn't everyone say that? Yep, like and subscribe. I think everyone says that. Ring the bell. Oh yeah, whatever the bell I is. Don't know what what the is bell the bell? Is. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna get packed up here, and um, we'll do some video of the trail going out.